things you should buy to build your own black metal studio at home. Which things you need? Let's find out. Hello people, I'm Sablas. So, I've been checking some videos about building a budget a home studio and there are a lot of them. But the thing I was most interested in was that they all have the same budget mark. $350. Some have $300. I'm guessing some guys were like, okay, I need to make uh, the most uh, budget video ever. $500. Let's check some other videos. Oh, 350, 350, 350. Okay, let me make 350 as well. No, today we are making $666 budget video because I'm not going to show you the stupid things and say, for example, I hope you have a laptop, so I won't say you should buy a laptop. Or I already consider that you have a guitar, so I'm not going to recommend that. Well, I'm already guessing that you have some things, but I'll try to go from the beginning. For example, I'll include laptop, I'll include guitar, and I'll include some studio things you need to buy. Of course, I'm not going to say you should buy a pop filter like some people do. Pop filter, which I bought some years after my recording training, or a microphone stand because you know you can hold your microphone or put it somewhere so you can record you know you don't need those things as a beginner you can you know find some solutions for your problems you need some basic things which you can build on your own for example pop filter you can sing you can sing without it you can sing when you put a pen you can sing a bit further or maybe you can make your own pop filter like I did when I was a beginner. I still keep this as a reminder of how poor I was. I'm still poor, but okay, that's why I record black metal. So enough of me bashing some other people and their thinking. Uh, you can check those videos. There are some cool things you can find out, but I'll try to say my things and what I think you should buy as a beginner. Of course, I'm not sponsored by any of these items I will show or mention. So the first thing you need to buy obviously is a laptop. When you are buying a laptop, you need to consider three things. How good the graphic card is, how much RAM do you have, and which processor do you have. Uh, of course, let's say for example RAM at least 4, but over 10 is good. And processors, you can have i3, i5, i7, obviously i7 being the best one. And just check those characteristics and buy a laptop. But $200, I said, because I think it's the best if you are on a budget to buy a used laptop for $200. You can find really good ones and then reinstall the Windows, take it to someone to clean it and basically you have a new laptop. But of course, you can see some videos where they say you can uh, get a laptop for recording for $300, which is absolutely uh, idiotic because you cannot find the laptop with these characteristics under $500, but okay. Uh, any laptop should work, but to have a better laptop is not that uh, bad. Have a better laptop. Then when you have a laptop, obviously you can start with the recording immediately because you can already start making some things, things on your laptop. Or just buy like, for example, this MIDI keyboard which is for around $100 and for $300 you can make some dungeon synth. <laughs> or something else, you can do everything on your laptop but it's better to have some actual gear. Which we'll talk about now and the first piece of gear I would suggest you should buy is a guitar. Now guitar, I won't say go on Wish or AliExpress and buy the cheapest guitar you can find for $30 because you can buy an electric guitar, real electric guitar which works for $30 but I won't suggest it. But as a non-sponsor video, I will say one brand of guitar which is slowly starting to rise and I've been checking some videos of those guitars 
and it's Harley Benton guitars. Uh, Harley Benton are great rising guitars and you can find some guitars for even $100. Yeah, and really good guitars. And if you spend a bit more, for example, $300, $400, $500, you can get a pretty decent guitar. But you say, oh, Savas, you play on Ibanez guitars and you're suggesting Harley Benton guitars. Yeah, okay. So my first guitar was Ibanez and I was really happy with it. So I bought another Ibanez, this one, which is three times more expensive. But I trust in Ibanez guitars. I'm not sponsored by Ibanez guitars. And if you want me really to suggest you some Ibanez guitars, you can buy this one right here for, I think, $200. If I have this knowledge when I was starting to play guitar, I would definitely buy this guitar if I was on a budget. So, let's say $200 more for guitar. Next thing which you need is a guitar cable. So, obviously you can plug your guitar into an amp or a computer. If you are skipping the thing I will show you later, the thing you need to buy, I would suggest you should buy this big jack into little jack like this and plug that into your computer and start recording immediately your guitar I recorded only one of my demos like that hey, sometimes so you can check it how it sounds only this guitar recorded with cable and this uh, little jack into one computer it sounded pretty interesting black metal but obviously we'll uh, discuss some more things how you should actually record but to have these things if you're on a budget pretty cool so $200 laptop $200 guitar and $10 cable you can find some cheaper ones you can find some more expensive ones but $10 is like a middle and this one is $10 now the thing you will need to record your music is a digital audio workstation or a DAW which you can get in some studio bundles, which we'll talk about now. But I would suggest that you actually buy a DAW, and the DAW I would like to suggest is Reaper. Because Reaper costs 50 bucks, and you get the quality of some bigger DAWs, like Pro Tools, which costs around $1,000. And this motherfucker Reaper right here is $50. Now the last piece of Physical gear I would like to suggest, obviously you need some more things. XLR cable, microphone, recording vocals, headphones for mixing, of course you can buy some studio monitors, as you can see I don't have any studio monitors, doors, that's my next purchase, but I'm trying to collect some money for better studio monitors, not to buy just the most, the cheapest ones, because it's better to mix on headphones, good headphones than on bad studio monitors. XLR cable, microphone, headphones, microphone of course, and an audio interface. This is the most popular on 2i2, now I use SL2+. Plus. And on that, those videos I mentioned on the beginning, people are saying to buy this thing separately. Why? When you can buy... A studio bundle, which is these things right here I showed you, and basically here you get everything you need. And you even get a digital audio workstation here, not Reaper, you, I got here Cubase 6, uh, and you can see here. Uh, and uh, back then it was Cubase 8, it's less updated, but you know, good for start. On some other uh, bundles you can get Pro Tools, uh, Lite and Ableton, but basically the DAWs you can't really use. So I would suggest that you buy Reaper. For this studio bundle I would suggest that you buy a solo Scarlet, which is around $200, everything is $200. You can see some cheaper ones, for example Behringer which is around 60 or 70 bucks, but I would not suggest that you buy that because I've checked it on the internet and it's really not that good. So I would really suggest that you buy a Focusrite. It's a good brand, it's a, a brand you can trust. And of course there are other stu studio bundles like Mackie and Presonus and other stuff, but Focusrite, I trust Focusrite and I would suggest that you buy 
that studio bundle where you get everything you need to record your black metal. Now there are some other things you should need if you want to record everything, for example, bass. You can buy some bass modulation or a real bass guitar that I would highly suggest that you buy. But if not, you can download some bass modulation for free. And of course, the last thing, the drums. Drums, of course, there are some free software. You can buy some drums for $200, like uh, Superior Drummer, ES Drummer, uh, I don't know. There are a lot of drum loops, samples and softwares. If you don't have $200 for used drums, but there are some free drums as well. For example, MT drums, which you can buy for small donation of $6. I think it's five, but give them six so we'll round up this video on 666 dollars and people that's it of course this studio is a lifetime investment strings break on guitar you have to buy another strings on another guitar another strings bass strings you have to buy bass strings you play drums you need to buy drumsticks drum heads something gets broken you need to buy it course and it's a lifetime investment so don't think you'll be on a budget in your studio because you have to spend some money uh, till next time I'm Sablast and see ya